Scentland, the land of scent. Hello and welcome, it's Chris back with yet another fragrance review on the same fragrance I reviewed. Ha! What a surprise. What is the reason? Um, the reason is that according to some feedback, the sound quality was appalling. So, um, so let me know this time if the sound quality has improved. Because if not, I'm gonna be conducting my reviews shouting all the way. Okay, don't be afraid. It's just a one-off. Okay, don't be afraid, you know. Uh, so, what is the fragrance? Open, yet again. Open by Roger Edgalé. Okay, released in 1985 by Roger Edgalé, who are a very traditional French fragrance maison. Okay, and Roger Edgalé um, have a fairly wide range of fragrances out there. And um, this one, as I said, was launched in the year of 1985. Now the name, open, that's the box here, obviously. Um, and it has this little symbol that we're gonna come to. Here's the bottle with the same symbol on top and you know, this interesting design, I like it. Very 80s, but very practical. Very, very much a nice design, I think, uh, if, especially if you like the 80s. And the color is fairly special. We're gonna to come to that as well. So open, so open, like what is that name? Uh, fairly simple, straightforward, yet what does it mean? So I was trying to conduct some research and I found that Roger et Gallet have sponsored a tennis tournament, an outdoors tennis cup which included their name as well, Roger et Calais. It was held in, in Firenze, Italy, in 83, 84, 85. It was an outdoors tennis tournament, okay, played on clay surface, okay, on clay. Again, it has a meaning here, according to me, to, me, to my opinion, okay. I think we see both the name open and the color of the, of the presentation of both the, the juice, the bottle and the box represented, somehow representing this very tennis aspect of the brand, okay? Why? Okay, first of all, open, okay? These tennis tournaments, as I said, that, that uh, Roger et Gallet were sponsoring at the time, they were sort of open tournaments. What does that mean if a tennis tournament is called an open, Australian open, for example? Um, it means that even unseeded people can aim to qualify, okay? So in 1985, actually, Sergio Casal, if I remember well, um, was an unseeded player who qualified for the main event and managed to win it in the end. <laughs> Bravissimo, okay? So that's an open, open. Okay, it's played, it was played on clay. Look at the color. It has very much this clay color. Okay, so I think that this is a tennis ball. I think the, the, the name open refers to the tennis tournament, an open tournament, and the color of both the bottle, the box, and even the juice inside, this clayish bottle also refers to that very tennis tournament. Now, how does it smell? First of all, Nice, generous, big 80s spray, okay? And it smells very much like it's a child of its time. First of all, what, what is gonna greet you is a wonderful, natural smelling Amalfi lemon, okay? A very Italian lemon. Even though the French, uh, it, uh, the Maison is French, okay? But the tournament was held in Italy, so we gotta put some Amalfi lemon in there. Eh, qua. Okay, so very Amalfi lemon, lavender, okay? It, it gives it a very, traditional, nice start and backbone at the same time. It's classy, it's wonderful, it's fresh in an aromatic way because almost immediately you get herbal uh, things in it, playing in here. Um, sage and, uh, and thyme also, okay? It's very, it's green, it's herbal, it's, 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 um, luckily, luckily the, um, the Amalfi lemon continues. There's even some bergamot in there as well, so it's double double freshness. But but uh, um, it's it's a definitely a an, an 80s type of, of 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 feel that you get with, even with the citrus is added. Okay, because lavender, the sage, and the thyme immediately you know kick this kick this into that direct into that direction. Some woodiness maybe in here, uh, but most above all um, a Tremendous tobacco 
note that starts to appear um, as the, the development of the fragrances moves along, okay? Not at the beginning, but after a few minutes already, you have this tobacco. So many say this resembles Havana by Aramis, which is, which is a tremendous, actually Havana Aramis resembles this because this came out nine years earlier, okay? So, you know, put that first on the line. But it's true, they have some similar, they share some similar DNA, but I think it's mostly because of this green, um, slightly barbershoppy um, tobacco aspect. This is very dry, less sweet. There's no cinnamon in here. If I remember well, um, Havana has cinnamon, nothing, in, nothing of that type in here, okay? There's a more, uh, Again, it's 80 spending. It has lots of similar fragrances out there, um, both in quality and performance, and it is, it is very much a child of its time. But I rank this at the, at the, you know, at the top of these 80s aromatic fragrances. Enrico Coveri, for example, Purom, comes to my mind. A great, great fragrance, great blend. Unfortunately, toward the end, that one dries down to a simple Vetira, which, which I'm not a great fan of. That's here much more complex because the tobacco, the tobacco playing with the sage, the thyme, the lavender and the Amalfi lemon gives it this, this je ne sais quoi, this, this something more, okay? And this is what elevates it, in my opinion, onto the top launches of the 80s, definitely. And I chose this uh, as a top representative of the 80s with my latest uh, collaboration with Dan from Mr. Smelly from the Mr. Smelly channel. Um, and, and it very much is also because it's still available. You don't have to spend much time to get this. It has a tremendous price versus quality ratio, um, 20 bucks, okay? Presentation is nice, very nice, very good. If you like these type of fragrances, uh, aromatic yet still fresh, um, vivid, energizing, deeply aromatic, and with a tobacco punch, that is a fragrance that absolutely satisfies and ticks all those boxes, okay? So, price versus quality ratio outstanding also <laughs> because the longevity and the silage and the projection, well, let's start with the projection and, and silage, they're great. I mean, typical 80s fragrance, it's just there. It's, it's present in the room, okay? Everybody will smell this. Uh, Four or five sprays underneath the shirt, one in the head of the back of your head. Oh, you're a bomb, okay? Longevity, tremendous. Lasts you until the next next day. And what I like about this is that the Amalfi lemon is persistent. So it will never get cloying. It will never get too much, too heavy on the tobacco, or too heavy on on on, on the thyme and sage. You know, it it's it, it contain maybe some, maybe even some patchouli in there. Not exactly sure, but there seems to be some some dirtiness kicking in there as well. Um, so it is, it is with the Amalfi lemon and the bergamot there, um, especially the Amalfi lemon, it's, it gives it this, this, this zest, this lemony brilliance throughout, especially if you let it work with your skin chemistry and body heat. Then if you, if you do that, um, again, I'm wearing it mostly underneath the shirt, you're gonna get these whiffs of, of Amalfi Lemon Delight, it's, and it's so Italian. Huh? And it gives, this, gives it this energy, so it's, this could be a sports fragrance of the 80s as well. This is easy up there with, uh, with uh, Lacoste Purum, for example, or Lacoste uh, Urum, uh, Lacoste Homme, or there was a Lacoste Sport. I don't know if it's what was called Purum or Homme, I don't, I don't remember that one. You know, the, 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 the square bottle with the white um, front, that type of freshness, okay? Um, it really has this due and because of the Amalfi lemon in here. So overall, great fragrance, outdoors, very versatile, age-wise, 30 and above, 35 maybe and above, because it really requires uh, some sort of a, a grown-up, experienced personality in order to, to fully appreciate and, and this and to be able to fully uh, make this become your own aura without smelling odd, okay? So you have to have some sort of life experience in order to appreciate and to, to, to you know, pull this off. So wonderful fragrance from Roger and Gallet, open. Um, I'm very open to wear this any time of the day. Great signature material as well. Just love it to bits. Thanks very much. That was Chris from Sandland.